Hey, so this video is going to be about Microsoft Office Forms, which is a part of the Microsoft Office 365 Education Suite. As the name of the app kind of suggests, this is really a sort of questionnaire, survey uh, kind of app that you can use to get results and see data and uh, do great things like that. So maybe if you're a teacher, you could use it to evaluate how well a class has understood something, set them a piece of homework on Microsoft Office Forms and say, answer the questions on these maths topics that we've been looking at or this English topic that we've been looking at or something like that. Uh, I'm going to use it today to actually create a customer feedback survey because I've been, um, I'm going to do some iPad training <laughs> and um, and then we're going to get the people to uh, give the feedback on forms. So uh, from Office 365 you can click on forms and then that will open it up and basically if it's the first time you've opened up Microsoft Forms you'll see something that looks like this. So we've got a new form or a new quiz. So the quiz is more the kind of thing that I've explained before already in this video about gathering how well a class has done at a certain topic or theme or something like that and that's really good for that. But I'm going to make a form here um, because I want to find out what people think of something. I want to find out how they think my training session went. So I'm going to just call this uh, iPad training session feedback. Now that's the title of the form. Uh, the description can be whatever you want really. So just a brief overview. Um, so I might say uh, something like we value your feedback which will be used to make future training better. Something like that, okay? Doesn't really matter. Obviously, that's um, relevant to you. So we can add a question. And you see here we have several uh, options. We have choice, so that's like a little tick box or radio button. We have text, which kind of speaks for itself. We have a rating, which might be good for this kind of um, survey feedback form thing and then we have a date so if you need a user to input a date um, that's really good as well so I'm gonna go with the rating system so I'm gonna say how useful were the apps that were um, discussed in the session to you and then you can change between having a five star rating and a ten star rating and you can change between having a number or stars. So I might go with um, stars because everybody knows that more stars equals better, basically. <laughs> um, you can make the question required so that the user can't submit the survey until they've answered it by uh, checking that box there. You can delete a question. You can copy a question. So if you have a question that you want to be quite similar, you can copy that and you can move questions up and down so that the order of the question changes. And then to add another question, just press the plus button. And again, we have all the different options here. So here I might have a, another star rating one. So um, I might have how likely are you to use these apps in your lessons. And then again, kind of a, a rating system one. So we'll add that question in there. Maybe next time I, uh, I want to have a text question, so I could have something like uh, which other apps would you like to have training on? And then again, we can, uh, that they can answer a question there. Although here, notice this time we have the long answer option, which makes a bigger text box and make that required as well. So maybe I'm halfway through making my survey or form or whatever and I feel that actually I've missed out a question. I've already mentioned you can move questions up and down but this time I'd actually quite like to have the date. So we could say which session did you attend and then they have to input the date and by doing that they click on the little calendar and it does it for them. They just click on the calendar and then they can select the date. So we'll add that question but we'll move it up to the top so that that's our first question. Um, okay, let's add another question to the end here. The ones that we haven't used yet were the, is the choice option and basically we can, here you can specify additional options for things um, with a checkbox or radio button or the like. So I might have something like um, in this example, um, which other platforms would you like training on? 
and then we might have here Windows, Android, or something else. Okay, so then the user can select which ones they have there. You can allow them to pick multiple answers, and again, you can make it require so that they have to do that. And then when you're done putting all your questions in, you can then fiddle around with some of the settings up here. So if we go up here, we can choose a theme. So we can have different accent colors, which we know Microsoft loves. We can have different background colors here. So we could have a city theme, um, not a city theme, a park theme there. City theme, kind of a sciency theme. Space, rockets, office or octopus, nice clouds, people skiing, you know. These are really, really pretty things. I quite like them. I think they look quite cool, actually. I think it's great. <laughs> I really, really love it. Um, one other thing I've just noticed is that you can actually um, insert a picture or video into the uh, form as well. So you could have, say you're a teacher who's trying to do a quiz or something like that, you could have, um, what is this a picture of? And then you could put up a picture of something, whatever it might be. So let's pretend that you're a science teacher and you've got a bottle of that lovely blue copper sulfate. You could put a picture of that in there and then you could say, what what is this? what is this you know and then you could have copper sulfate or something else something else something else is the answers I've forgotten science so I studied it a long time ago but you see where I'm going at you see what I mean and then when you're done just click on the preview tab there and you can see exactly how your um, how your form will look and the great thing about Microsoft Forms is that it also works great on a mobile device too click mobile at the top and then we have an idea of how it will look on a smartphone, iPhone, iPad, um, Android phone, Windows phone, works on all of them. Because the great thing is it's just a it's just a web thing. So when you're done, click share at the top here, share that link with everybody, and then people can uh, people can respond to that. Now you can actually change the response option so that anyone with a link can respond if you want to make a public form or if you just want people who are on the same Office 365 domain as you to respond, you can choose only people in my organization can respond. You can also create QR codes now, you can also make an embed code or embed the form. You can send it directly out via email. You can even share the template so that you can make another form just like this. It's really great to see that these Microsoft Office 365 products are always getting bigger and better. They're always moving forwards, which is really good. And you can, you can even collaborate with people in the organization as well. Come up here to the free ellipses and we can actually go into the settings tab here and then there are more options here. The great thing is, this is really cool, and I'm about to uh, show you this in a minute when I fill this out as an example, but you can actually record the um, email addresses of people who have responded, and then that pulls their username out of Office 365 so you know who's responded. Admittedly, that's not anonymous, so if you don't want that, you can just deselect that option there, but that's really good. You can also only limit it to one response per person, which is nice. And options for responses, you can specify a starting date, um, so that's when the survey opens, an end date when the survey closes, and shuffling questions so that if you you get kids who say hey the answer to question three is 66 well it might not be question three for them because you shuffle the questions around it's really really powerful what you can do and you know this product has grown a lot in the past year and it's only going to get better with time it's really really great so what i'm going to do now is i'm actually going to uh, copy and paste this link up here and i'm going to answer my own uh, survey just so that you can see exactly how it looks so which session did you attend i'm going to attend the session on the 22nd of march how useful were the apps that were discussed maybe four stars how likely are you going to use them hmm, uh, maybe not three stars which other apps would you like to have training on well i use book creator quite a lot in my lessons so i'm going to choose book creator and whichever platforms would you like training on? Well, to be honest with you, you know, we've got Windows tablets at school, so let's go with that. Click Submit. And lo and behold, that will submit all the answers and the response will be submitted. Now, meanwhile, if I just refresh this here, I can actually see the responses to the uh, survey by looking in here. So I can see what the average response time was. I can see whether the question, uh, whether the survey is open or closed. I can open these results in Excel and it produces really nice data showing um, 
basically showing you what the responses were. So that's really, really great. It's a very, it, it makes finding results of surveys really easy, really great product. If you've got Office 365 education, I'd highly recommend having a look at it, especially if you're after something to evaluate what kids know. Definitely check out the quizzes as well. That's a really good feature of it. I'll probably cover that in another video, but thank you for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed and hope you use it as well, because this is really great. Not just for schools as well, but for businesses or people just wanting to find out things. You know, I send these around all the time, just asking staff for opinions on hardware, computers, things like that. Um, great tool. Thanks for watching.